Good morning. It's Wednesday. Welcome to Yoga with Joey and Christy. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a gentle class right now, just about 45 minutes. And then I'm going to come back a little bit later, 1130, and do a power class. So um, I, it's funny, I've never really taught gentle yoga before this quarantine time, but I, I kind of like it. I kind of enjoy it. It just feels good and it's not too much. So um, if you are following along on the playlist, start on the fourth song. So since this class is only 45-ish minutes, we'll just skip down. So start on the fourth song and we'll begin just however you like. Come to a comfortable space on your mat. Find some stillness. He thinks I get down here for him. And just let your eyes close or your gaze soften. Just relax. Start to breathe a little deeper. Making your way onto your back if you're not there already. And just deepening that breath. That again, deep breath in. And exhale it out. Setting up that ujjayi breath. And then on your next inhale, stretch those arms and legs long. Exhale, bring your right knee into your chest. Cross it across your body for a twist. Good, bring that knee back to center. Extend your legs straight up. Take your hands to your hamstring or slide them to your calf. Just pressing that leg straight, gently. Bend your right knee back in. Let it fall open to the right side. And straighten it out to the side if you like or keep it bent. Maybe reach for your foot. Good. Lower that right leg down to meet the left. Take a breath in. Stretch long. Exhale. Hug that left knee in and cross it across your body for a twist. back through center, extend that leg straight up, hands to your hamstring or to your calf, Joey, move, go lay down, good, let that left leg fall 
open to the side. Lower your left leg to meet the right. Big stretch as you breathe in. Slide both feet to the mat, about hip width apart, knees up to the ceiling. Arms can be up above your head or out to the side or bend those elbows. Breathe in here. And exhale, just let your knees fall right. Inhale, bring them back to center. And exhale, take them to the left. And just moving side to side. time each direction. Good. Bring your knees to center. Pick your feet up off of the mat. Tug your knees into your chest. Just move them how it feels good to move. You can circle them around. Or rock the length of your spine. Walk up to a seated position with your legs straight in front of you in a pike. So legs are straight in front, sit up tall, breathe in, reach those arms up. As you exhale, twist to the right. That left hand can come outside of your right leg or right arm behind your back. This first time there, stay there for an extra breath or two. Breathe in, back to center. Exhale, switch your twist. Good, breathe into center, reach up. Let your body fold forward over your legs. Your head can be heavy. If that's too much tension, lift your chin up a little bit. Just rounding forward over those straight legs. Good, back up to seated. Breathe in, sit up tall, stretch those arms up. Exhale, twist to the right. We're gonna keep moving here. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist left. Good, inhale, center. Exhale, fold forward. Come back up, breathe it in, reach. And twist. Good, center, and twist, reach it up, fold forward. One more time, breathe in, reach long, and exhale, inhale, exhale, breathe it in, exhale, fold forward. Relax into that fold. Now tuck your chin to your chest, roll it up to seated. Good, cross your legs. If you'd rather sit on your knees, sit on your knees. I've got something weird going on with my right knee. I'm just gonna take it easy, that leg. Hands to your knees or to your shins. As you breathe in, press your chest forward, arch your back. Exhale, sit back into your hips, straightening out those arms. Good, breathe in, press forward, seated cow. Exhale, seated cat. One more time, breathe it in. Exhale it back. Good. Sit up tall as you inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, tip over to the right side. Come into your hand or your elbow. Press those hips down. Good. Breathe it in here. Exhale, walk your hands forward. Pause in the center. 
Let your head be heavy again. Elbows can drop to the mat. Roll it back up to seated. Take an inhale, reach high. Exhale, tip over to the left. Coming to that hand or elbow. Pressing your hips down, breathe in. Exhale, walk those hands forward and pause. Roll it back up to seated. Gonna make a full circle, breathe in, reach up. Exhale, take it to the right and keep moving those hands to the front as you breathe in, your head can be heavy. Exhale, finish the circle to the left. Good, back to center, reach. Start to the left side, exhale. Good, inhale, walk it forward. Exhale to the right. Breathe it in, one more time. Exhale, right, walk it around, and to the left, one more, exhale, left, circle it around, good, breathe in center, and exhale, make your way on to all fours, wrists underneath your shoulders and knees under your head. Maybe turning those hands around so your fingertips point towards your knees. As you breathe in, let your belly drop. Maybe even tucking your toes for cow pose. Exhale, round into cat. Press into the tops of those feet. Breathe in, release for cow. Exhale, cat. One more, breathe it in. Exhale, round into cat. Now take those hands, point them back to the front. Extend your right leg behind you, but keep your foot on the mat. Press through your heel. And release a few times, stretching through that calf. Now slide your right leg out to the right side, and then rotate the top of your foot up. Come up, so you're holding yourself up on that left leg. Breathe in, reach up. As you exhale, just lean over to the right side. Inhale back to center. Exhale, lean to the left. You can lift that right leg up. You can even bend your right knee and catch your foot if that feels good. Back to center as you inhale. Exhale, take those hands down, knee in. We'll switch sides. Left leg behind you, press the ball of your foot into the mat. Press and release a few times through your heel. Good, take that left leg out to the side. Rotate the top of your foot up. And come up. Arms reach. Exhale, lean left. And breathe it back to center and tip it over to the right. You have the option to lift that leg up or catch your foot if you like. Breathe in, come back upright. And exhale, take your hands down, knee in. Good, we'll do one more cow and cat here. Belly drops as you inhale. Exhale, round into cat. Good, neutral spine, sit your hips back for child's pose. Let your body rest on or between your legs. Keeping those arms reaching forward. As you inhale, walk your hands off the mat to the right. Good, 
exhale, bring it back to center and we'll switch. Off the mat to the left. to center. You're going to pull your body forward and drop down onto your forearms here for Sphinx Pose. Let that lower half of you relax. Actually from the rib cage down relax. Press your elbows underneath your shoulders. Press into those forearms. If it feels good, drop your head down, chin to chest. Maybe just moving between looking up as you breathe in. Exhaling, dropping your chin down, or you can rock that head side to side. Inhale, right ear to right shoulder. Exhale, down. And switch. Good, breathe it in. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Good, slide that right knee up towards your right armpit. Come back to Sphinx Pose with that right knee up. So you're in half frog, Sphinx upper body. If you're following me with your head, breathe in, press into those forearms, look up. Exhale, drop your chin down. Inhale, roll that right ear to your right shoulder. Exhale, chin down and switch. Bring it down. Breathe in, look up, and as you exhale, lower down, slide that right leg back. We'll switch sides. Slide the left knee up, press back into Sphinx. Inhale, look up. Exhale, chin drops. Left side first, breathe in, left ear. Tail down and switch. Good. Inhale, look up. Exhale, lower down. Slide that left leg back. Press yourself all the way back to child's pose. Good. Leaving your knees on the mat, reaching your arms forward just three times. As you inhale, pull your body forward, take your chin down, keep those elbows nice and close. Exhale, sit back to child's pose. You don't have to come all the way down. Just come as low as you want. Breathe in, come forward. Exhale it back. One more time. Breathe in, come forward. Exhale, take it back. Good, from that down dog, tuck your toes under as you inhale, or from that child's pose, excuse me. Exhale now, lift your hips up for down dog. Move how it feels good to move. You can walk it out. Relax through your neck. Now the further apart your feet are in down dog, the less pressure on your upper body. So step those feet wider if you need, or if you want a little more, bring those feet closer together. Good, from your down dog, wherever you are, just lift your heels up as you breathe in. Press your heels down on your exhale. And again, heels up. Exhale, press them down. One more time, heels up. Exhale, press them down and walk your hands back to your feet. Let your knees soften. Hold on to those elbows and sway side to side. Let your head relax. And letting your knees be soft, heavy head and arms here. Roll it up slowly. Good, 
head. Take an inhale at the top, reach high. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, bring those hands behind your back and over to your right hip. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Just move your chin up and down a few times. Good, exhale, drop that chin down the center, hands down the center, and we'll switch. Hands over to your left hip, left ear to left shoulder. down the center, keeping those hands interlaced. As you breathe in, pull your palms together. Open up through your heart. Exhale, bring it to a forward fold with a bind. Relax through that neck. Good. Breathe in here for a half lift. So release your bind. Press into your shins here. Exhale, fold deeper. Take your forehead closer to your legs. We'll half lift again. Inhale, half lift. Nice long spine. Exhale, fold. One more time. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold it deeper. Soft knees. Roll it up slowly. Good. Reach up at the top. Hands to heart center. Interlace your fingers, press those palms up. Exhale, lean to the right. You can cross your left foot in front if you like, or behind. Breathe in, come back to center. And exhale, lean left. Breathe into center, turn and look towards your hands. Exhale, dive it down, forward fold. Half lift three times. Press into your shins or maybe reach for the mat. That's your inhale. Fold as you exhale. Good, two more. Breathe it in, half lift. Exhale, fold. One more, half lift. Exhale, fold. Roll it back up to standing. Reach it up. Hands to heart. Good. Breathe in, reach high. And we'll twist. Left arm forward, right arm back. You can hug yourself here. Left arm comes in front, right arm behind. Good. Back to center. Breathe it in and reach. And switch. Breathe into center. Dive it down. Three times. Half lift. Exhale, fold. Two more. Exhale, fold. One more time. Half lift. Exhale, fold. Good. Now next inhale. Look forward and walk your hands out. You're welcome to drop your knees down for knees down plank. I'm going to stay up because my knee is hurting me. Breathe it in. Exhale, lower all the way to your belly. And let that lower body relax. Take your hands wider than your mat. Press into your fingertips. As you breathe in, press that upper body up. That lower body stays relaxed. Exhale, take it down, nose to the mat. Good, inhale, press up and look over your right shoulder. Exhale, take it down. Breathe in, press up, look left. Exhale it down. Good, hands underneath you. You're gonna press yourself back to all fours. Tuck those toes under. Lift your hips high for down dog. Good, inhale, look towards your hands. Take your feet there. Forward fold at the top of your mat. Relax into that fold. Breathe in for a half lift. Fold it deeper as you exhale. 
Rise all the way up to standing. Big breath. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good, reach those arms up. We're gonna twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Step your left leg back for a lunge. Option to drop all the way down onto that left knee. Good, now bring your hands to your heart, stand at heart center, stay twisted. Dip that left elbow down to tap your right knee. Again, your back knee can be dropped to the mat. Plant your left hand down. Let this hip sink a little bit lower and drop your back knee if it's not already. Modified side plank, step your right leg back. Reach that right arm forward as you breathe in. Exhale, come to that modified plank and lower all the way to your belly. Let that lower body relax, but this time just press into cobra. Press your upper body up. Exhale, take it back down. Go ahead, make your way to all fours as you breathe in. Tuck your toes, lift your hips, take it to down dog. Go ahead, look forward. Feet to hands, find a forward fold at the top of the mat. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Rise to standing, reach up. Hands to heart. Good, breathe in, reach those arms up. And twist your right arm forward, left arm back. Step your right leg back, option to drop that right knee down. Good, next exhale, hands to heart, and dip your right elbow down outside of that left knee. Get lower, plant your right hand. Now drop your back knee down, modified side plank as you step that left leg back. Reach that left arm forward as you inhale. Exhale, come to that knees down plank and lower all the way down. Lower body relaxes, press your upper body up. Exhale, take it back down. Good, all fours. Toes tuck, hips lift high. Good, look forward. Take your feet to your hands. Breathe in for a half lift. Fold it deeper as you exhale. Rise all the way to standing, reach up. Hands to heart. Good, you're gonna keep your right foot grounded. Your left foot's gonna come into tree pose. So it can stay just on the outside of your right foot or anywhere right your, around, I can't speak today, anywhere along your right leg, just not against your knee. So as you come into that tree pose, press your foot into your leg and press your leg into your foot. Maybe hands stay here. Maybe you wanna play with your balance a little bit. Stabilizing in that core. Good, you're gonna step your left leg back, bend your right knee, find warrior one. So shoulders are square, hips are squaring. Exhale, open up to warrior two. Shoulders on top of your hips here. Breathe in, flip that right palm and reach up for a reverse warrior. Good, as you exhale, cartwheel your hands down and just step back to down dog. Right leg meets the left. Good, look forward. Take your feet there. Breathe in for a half lift. Exhale, fold it deeper. Rise to standing, reach high. Hands to heart. So keeping that left foot strong, bring that right leg into chair pose. Right foot against your left leg. Just 
not against your knee. Gonna take that right leg, step it back, bend into your left knee. Warrior one, nice and square. Exhale, open to warrior two. So feet are perpendicular usually in warrior two. Flip that left palm, reach to reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel those hands down, press into your palm, step to down dog. Good, look forward. Take your feet there, forward fold. Halfway lift, fold it deeper. Rise to standing, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, cross your left foot in front of your right. So it's okay if your toes turn toward each other a little bit. Breathe in, reach those arms up. So that left foot's crossed over, exhale, take a forward fold with that left leg crossed in front. Good, heavy head and heavy arms, roll it up slowly here. Reach up, uncross that left leg, and we'll switch. Cross your right leg in front, forward fold. Roll it up slowly. Breathe in, reach up, uncross. Exhale, take it to a forward fold. Inhale here, half lift. I'm gonna step straight back to down dog. If you wanna incorporate any of those vinyasas or modified vinyasas, feel free. Take that right leg up, square or open, just however you like, lifting your right leg in the air. Good, exhale, pull that knee down the center, plant your foot between your hands and spin your back knee down. Come up to warrior one. Exhale, open it up to warrior two. Straighten that front leg, reach your right arm back. Your left hand can press your left hip forward or you can wrap that left arm behind your back. Good, back to warrior two, but legs are straight. Lean forward, take that right hand, slide it down your right leg. That may not go very far, maybe it comes all the way down for triangle pose. Good, exhale, take your left hand down. Lift your back heel, sink into that lunge. Drop your back knee if you like. Otherwise, just twist the right arm up. Good, exhale, take that left, I'm sorry, your right hand down. Press into your palm, step back to down dog. Left leg lifts high. Sit square or open, just whatever you like. Step it through. Spin your back heel down, warrior one. Breathe it up. Exhale, open to warrior two. Straighten that front leg, reach back with your left arm. Press your right hip forward. Good, release those arms, legs stay straight, lean forward. Tilt or tip it down into triangle pose. Now take that right hand down, lift your back heel, sink your hips, drop your back knee if you like, and twist.
Good, hand down, step it back to down dog. Good, breathe in, lift your heels. Press them down, walk your hands to your feet. Roll it up slowly. Reach up, breathe in. Hands to heart. Good, lift that right leg and lift your arms on your inhale. Extend that right leg forward. Take a big gentle step forward and then a lunge, arms reaching. Good, exhale, lean forward. You can fly here if you want to take that left leg into warrior three or just stay in that lunge, reaching forward. Good, if your leg lifted, lower it back down. Keep reaching forward as you breathe in. Hands come down inside your right foot. Turn sideways on your mat. So you're in a wide forward fold. Take that right hand in front of your left foot. Reach your left arm up. Go ahead, take that left hand down. Walk your hands back around to the front. Square everything off. Hands come in front of your right foot. Send your left leg as high as you can. Keep that right knee soft if you need. And step your left leg back for a lunge. Breathe in here. Exhale back to down dog. Right leg meets the left. Heels up as you inhale. Press it down, hands to feet. Roll it up slowly. Reach up. Hands to heart. Good, arms reach and left knee lifts. Send that left leg forward. Take a big, gentle step, high lunge. And exhale, just lean your body. Option here to lift that right leg, warrior three. Lower that leg if you lifted it up. Arms still reaching, inhale. Exhale, take your hands down. Turn sideways, walk both hands over to your right foot. Plant your left hand and reach your right arm. Take that right hand down, walk back around to the front. Hands in front of your left foot, soften your left knee, send your right leg high. Breathe it in. Exhale, step back into a lunge. Take a breath there. And back to down dog, left foot meets the right. Breathe it in, come to that modified plank or plank and lower all the way to your belly. Good, lower body relaxes. Press that upper body up. Exhale, take it down. Good, stay there. Maybe stacking your hands, resting your forehead on your hands. You can rock your head side to side. We're going to take a deep spinal twist from our bellies. If that doesn't work for you, then flip onto your back to take that spinal twist. But it's like that half frog pose we did earlier. First, start sliding your right knee up. You're going to reach your left arm straight forward. I'm just get back so you can see me. And your right arm straight to the side. Arms make an L shape. And then you roll open, pulling your right shoulder toward the ground. It's okay if your right knee comes up. You can bend your back knee and catch your left foot with your right hand if you like. You roll off that left arm as you roll open.
Release that. Bring everything back to center. And we'll switch sides. Slide that left knee up. Arms can make that L shape. Right arm forward, left arm side, and roll it open. Option to bend your right knee and catch your right foot with your left hand. It's okay if your left knee comes up off the mat. And come back to center. Just flip over onto your back. And we're just going to seal this off with a happy baby pose, bending your knees in. You can either hook your knees with your arms or reach for the inside or outside of your feet. Your hips press down as you pull your knees down on the outside of your rib cage. And you can rock side to side. Or just gently pull. Ready, make your transition to Shavasana. Let your body relax. Bringing some movement back to your body. And just releasing from your Shavasana however you like.
intimately making your way up to a comfortable seat. Breathing in, sitting up tall, we'll reach up together. Hands to heart center as you exhale. With love and gratitude from my heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you all so much. Um, starting next week, I'm back in in-person classes, so I do post all of these on my YouTube. You're welcome to subscribe to that or just follow that or if you're interested in um, maintaining a home practice, but I don't think I'll be filming any more classes because my schedule is pretty full. Um, reach out if you have any questions, and uh, like I said, I'll be back at 1130 to do a power class. Enjoy your Wednesday.